tonight, Bison Homes presents the positive side of sports and entertainment with Arizona Cardinals head coach Ken Wisenhunt and Cardinals offensive coordinator Todd Haley. Fashion advice from former Arizona Rattler Randy Gatewood and Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. And your golf tip of the week with Peter Costas. All this and more tonight from the Verb Zone Studios, Bison Holmes presents the positive side of sports and entertainment on location at Moody Blues Denim Society. Welcome to another edition of the Positive Side of Sports and Entertainment. I'm your host, Roy Garibaldi, with my partner from Good Morning Arizona, Scott Passmore. i got to say, you look good tonight. Hey, that's because I'm dressed in <laughs> Moody Blues. You know what's kind of cool is bringing the Burr Zone Studio on the road to be able to come out here to Moody Blues in Chandler. And what's so great about this is a lot of the athletes and their families, they come out here to get in style, and I thought, what a better way for you and I to kind of get with the times. I've never been here before, and actually, it's it's so cool in here. The the coolest jeans and T-shirts and that kind of dress is so popular right now. And plus, you never know who you're going to run into here. Well, not only that, but I've heard about how great this True Religion jeans are. So I thought I could. Never heard up. of those? Well, you know, I kind of heard around, but. That's why I decided to come out here where Randy Gatewood has uh, the Moody Blue store. But you're right, you never know who you're going to run into here. Speaking of which, how about this? It's an NFL autograph ball, miniature style, signed by none other, the star of the Cardinals, number 11, Larry Fitzgerald. And you can win this ball by going to PositiveSideOfSports.com. And we're also going to be giving away multiple photographs of Larry Fitzgerald signed as well throughout the show. So all you got to do, as Scott said, log on to PositiveSideOfSports.com, and Larry Fitzgerald could be hanging in your house or maybe in your office. You know, if this T-shirt wasn't so tight, I'd stick it right underneath here. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the Cardinals. Man, are they the talk of the town. Uh, I go to every game, and, and they are an excellent product and a great team right now. Is this unbelievable, Scott? I've been here since 1993, and I have never, and I'm telling you, I've never seen fans in this town this excited. Larry Fitzgerald now can go to the cleaners without the old lady working there and tell him what he should have done to win a game. They've got an off week, a bye week this week, and we're going to spend some time with them. Well, after the big win against the uh, Cowboys and then the Bills the week before that, I had said before going into the season that I really thought that they were going to win the division, and they're two games up right now, and they are looking good. Another front runner now that they're in first place. Well, I predicted they were going to win. Scott. I absolutely <laughs> did. I know you did. I'm just giving you a bar <laughs> time. Well, you know what? A guy who really has really instilled some class in this organization is the head coach, Ken Wisenhunt. I had a chance to sit down with him at the practice facility and find out just what it's like to be on top and how much work it takes to get there. First of all, coach, uh, you're more than a coach. I mean, let's stop and think about all the people that are chirping. How, how tough is it, first of all, to have your job and know that every move that you make, good or bad, everybody's questioning you. First of all, they started questioning you that you guys were going on vacation on the East Coast. You in your mind, when it first came up, you said, hey, this is the way to go. You know what's amazing is what you have accomplished in this state, you become so popular. This, I've never seen anything this positive in 15 years in this state. You gotta be proud of yourself. I think that, uh this, this job, you know, the, I'm glad that there's people that are interested and that are, that are questioning or, or have ideas or opinions. I mean, that's what this game's about. I think the questioning part is a positive that no, people are paying attention I'm to. I look at it as positive. That's, yeah. that's what, uh, to me, you know, that's why we're here. That's why we play these games. Because when you step into the University of Phoenix Stadium and there's 66,000 and they're cheering for us, you know, that's a great feeling. And, and I'm glad that we have that interest. And I'm glad that we're here and that, you know, we've got some things going well right now. How do you feel at this point? I mean, obviously going out and beating a team 4-0 uh, on Buffalo, the expectations are big after that. You guys go in and you really just, unbelievable what happened against Dallas. I've been here since 93 and I've never seen excitement like this, Coach. Well, it was a big win for us. So we were excited about about the game. But it is, it's, it's you know, beating Buffalo, who's 4-0, and then beating Dallas, who's 4-1, two good teams that a lot of people recognize in the league. I think it gives us credibility, but I think it also gives us confidence that we can win against good football teams, and that's the next stage for us. We have to be able to win some big games, and Sunday's game against Dallas was a big game. And the way we did it, overcoming some adversity and still finding a way to win, I think gives us confidence to maybe go on the road and take that type of attitude that no matter what else happens, we can win these games. That'll really serve us well in the future. Coach, I've noticed one thing uh, out here today is that 
the players are not over their skis right now. Nobody's really going to town going, oh, yeah, this and that. We're, we're winning. We're going. Here. It all seems like they, you have kept them intact. Have you noticed that? Well, I think that we're, we're growing up as a football team a little bit. We have some mature leaders out here. I think we've made a conscious effort to say, look, we haven't done anything yet. You know, we're 4-2. and two. That's good. We're excited about that. There's still 10 games left. You know, we got a lot of work to do. We got some tough opponents coming in here. If we stick together, if we keep it in perspective, we got a good chance, and that's what we're excited about. Coach, I want to go back to uh, uh, me reading your lips when you said, I call timeout, okay? Anybody that's been in this town since the Arizona Cardinals have been here, it's not over till the fat lady sings. At any time, did it run through your mind going, what do we have to do to make this game go our way? You know, I thought that we, I, I was very impressed by how we hung in there when we had the two fumbles in the first half and we didn't get those. Um, you know, we still found a way to stay in the game. When that happened at the end of the game, um, you know, I thought, well, even if he does make it, I felt good about, about our team, about our mindset, and that our defense went out and really stepped up in overtime. So, you know, sometimes you have to have those type of games where things seem to be going against you and you find a way to come out on top. So hopefully that'll pay dividends for us. You know, I was talking with Kurt Warner about it, and when Tony Romo fumbled and the ball came right back up in his chest, the first thing that comes to your mind is goes, wow, does the ball always bounce that way, the opposite of us? You know, it seemed that way. There was a number of bounces in that game that seemed to go their way. But once again, you know, we, we hung in there, and that's what's important and found that way to win. You know, people talk about a football game sometimes being a war right down to the end. You guys go into an overtime, they lose their kicker to a fractured foot, uh, their quarterback, Tony Romo, for up to a month with a broken finger. Uh, you know, even though you guys come out on the winning side, uh, Monday morning when you're banged up, it, it feels a lot better. Oh, it, winning makes everything better. And, uh, you know, it even makes some of the dumb things that we did in the game easier to correct. But, um, and hopefully we'll continue with that trend. Coach, thanks a lot for bringing some real excitement to the state of Arizona. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nice talking to you.